but right. I think some of the stuff that you're seeing that's uh, that's racking up all these days on, um, and I do think that we, you know, I've seen. And we're, I'm, this isn't like some har- harbinger of uh, of of death. This is more uh, foreclosures coming onto the market. Not some great number, but where the banks, you know, powers off uh, to where it, it, this is cash or Renault only. As far Did you as say power off, like yeah. So got it. Yeah, the foreclosure has the the power is off, so you can't appraise it in that condition. The, they may or may not be able to turn it on. Um, so they're you're only not suggesting be, foreclosures are going to increase, are you? I said yes, but I'm I'm saying but not by a great amount. Yeah, this isn't it. some big spike, but. This is what happens when the government said you you know they can't you can't go into foreclosure and now we're starting to see some of them tick onto the market um, and that's going to create some opportunities for people who are willing to go in and say a, approach for a look at a two hundred three k option where they, they're going to they're going to take occupants of the property they you know they want to make some improvements um, there may have been some uh, some less than ideal things that happened to the house before someone exited it. Uh, that, that gives them options to get in at purchase. And along with that, you look at some of these properties that have these long days on market that have a serious amount of deferred maintenance involved. These are other options for people to go in, take occupancy, and be able to make some changes and improvements that meet their lifestyle and needs. And you've got all the tools to help them And I've do got that. all the tools. Because that requires back-end help, right? Yeah. Contractors. I've got, so and- I've, I've, I've seeked out uh, Woody Fincham actually has a relative who is a, a fantastic communicator and uh, 203k Hudson consultant uh, who travels I don't know if he comes all the way here but he definitely goes into Richmond which is part of where I, I do some of business and then I've got a, a two others that travel from Northern Virginia down to here so there's there's people that we have that can meet in the middle for the 203k I've got a contractor that I can recommend certainly people are welcome to go out and find whomever they'd like to work with but I have built a team around this model so I, so we We've got a we've got a buyer who who wants to do this. Make an assumption, right, right here, or if some somebody on here wants to do this, what's the team? Just high level bullet point. What's the team need to consist of, right? A contractor mm-hmm. who can get the work done and communicate, create a bid that he can be broken down into a materials and labor split so that he can receive draws um, from the investor. And you got that. We've got that. Um, and if you have somebody else, I'm happy to talk to them, coach them on what they need to do. Uh, a 203K HUD consultant um, who can go in with the builder, also communicate well, because there's two pieces to this. It's not just getting to the loan portion. It's about getting the work done after the loan closes and getting the work complete so that you're, you're you know, you're not, you know, if you've ever worked with a bad contractor or if you've ever been around uh people who are, are causing delays, you know, it may not be important to them, but it's going to be important to you if you're living in the house. 